It's me, it's Mona J. I'm back today with another video for you guys. It is actually the Jaclyn Hill Ride or Die makeup tag about one of your most favorite things that you cannot live without. So, I got quite a bit of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys so that you know what my Ride or Die things are. So, let's get into this video so I can let you know what my Ride or Die things are. So, the first one is going to be my Ride or Die foundation. Like, like what's my all-time favorite foundation? And I have two foundations with me, and one of them I have to get some more of the two of my stuff. Two of my things that fell on my little makeshift desk. But anywho, um, the first one here is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. It's in the number 322 Warm Honey. That is my color. I really love the coverage on this foundation. It's not too cakey. It's just the right amount of foundation that I need. And I only use one layer. And like I say, it really works well for me. It hasn't broken my skin out. And I just love everything about this foundation. And Maybelline definitely did a good job with this foundation. So if you haven't tried them already, I definitely suggest that you go try them out and let me know what you think about them. And then the next foundation I love. And yes, like this is my baby. And it's about almost gone. I got to go back to Walmart and get some more. It is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Foundation. And what I love about this is the fact that it has a, I don't want to get too much, but it has a wand on it so that you can place it on your face if you need it to. And what I like about it is that it gives like a natural finish because like sometimes you want to be, like some people have asked me, like, do you have makeup on? I'm like, yeah, you know, because usually i do this like if i'm doing like a match of makeup look and you can't really tell if it's my you know you can't really tell this foundation and that's what i love about the finish of this foundation and you can find this at your local walmart and it's like 388 or almost four dollars so if you're definitely looking for a really good foundation like if you're in my skin tone or darker then i definitely suggest you go try them out let me know what you think and yeah so that's it for my ride or die makeup tag. Yeah, I'm looking at my phone because Jacqueline Hill has some different things in here. And she talks about blush, and I cannot believe... Oh, I did put my blush out. Now, right now, when Wow, they have been doing a really good job on their blushes. And the blush here is the Wet n Wild Beauty uh, Color Icon Blush. And it's in the color Mellow Wine. And it's so pretty. Actually, I have it on my cheeks right here. And it's not too heavy it's like just the right amount of color and funny thing is when i bought this i just really you know i wasn't really sure how it was gonna look on my skin i'm gonna give you like a swatch of it y'all i'm swatching in this video and i love how it looks on my skin it's very pretty and like i said if you're my skin tone or even a little bit higher or even um lighter than me i think it'll look good on you um you you know so i'm so tired tired oh my god but yeah I definitely think this is very beautiful and yeah you should definitely go try it out like I have been using this like non-stop for the past couple of weeks so yes definitely go try that out and I don't see anything do I see no but I don't see anything on the tag about palettes but my ride or die palette lady has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palace and like guys like y'all can tell I've been using this thing like it's already dirty and stuff like that I hate that it is but yeah but this is the palette now not everything has hit pan yet but my favorite colors in here so far my brush is about to fall out um so far is the raw sienna right here um the burnt orange I haven't got much use out of that one but I definitely use this definitely when I'm doing like an everyday natural look I just throw this in my crease and I just keep it moving and I definitely love Primavera and Vermeer. I definitely do use those on my lid when I want my eyes to like really pop. And I love um, Glenfesco. Like right now I have this in my crease. And on the rest of my eyes I put Love Letter in today. So yeah, I really love this palette. It has definitely really good pigmentation. It does have some fallout, which I have noticed since using the palette. And But besides that... Um, it's not too much fallout, so don't be worried about that. But it is a really good palette, especially for the price that it was. And the pigmentation and the consistency of the product is great. So if you're definitely looking for a really good product that you can use for many different looks, I definitely suggest the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So yes, definitely go check that out, you guys. And my next ride or die. Yeah, I'm kind of bending down. Hold on. I don't want to bend down so far. I might probably need to bring it up so I can see. 
let's see, is the Marada Da Mascara, and I picked out two. And my two, one of them is the Essence um, Mascara here. It's the Get Big Lashes Mascara, and it is waterproof. And I, when I tell you guys, like, I um, had a little crime spell this past, not this past weekend, but the, was it this past weekend? Hold on now, I gotta get my... That's right. Was it this? Yeah, it was this past weekend. I am so crazy. It was this past, not this weekend, but the weekend prior. Uh, I had a little crime spell, and yes, my my mascara did not run. I was very happy about that because usually your mascara does run if it's you know sometimes depending on the the company and all this and that, but Essence did a really good job on this mascara, and yes, my mascara did not run, so this is a thumbs up, especially if I know I'm going to cry or whatever I'm going to, I definitely do have to pull this out, so yes, thumbs up to Essence, ride or die, it did make it, and the next mascara, like, oh my goodness, this mascara... I had this in my June favorites. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara is like, I have to use this. Like, I mean, I have it on my eyes, like, right now, like, on my eyelashes. And I mean, like, this gives your eyelashes so much flair. And it, like, really makes your eyelashes pop. And I really love that about that. And this one is perfect. You know, sometimes you're like, well, I need, like, that little thinner one. But this works, and it doesn't really, you know, cause you to make that too many mistakes and i just really love it like it does a really good job and i'm gonna use this baby up and i'm gonna eventually go get the big one because like yes i do have to have yeah i'll be right back yeah i really do have to have this one <laughs> So, yes, this would have to go with me. This is my ride or die mascara besides the essence. Now, my next ride or die, and it's going to be my concealers because sometimes I do highlight. I don't highlight and contour. Well, I do contour and bronze in almost every video, but I don't do that much. I do highlight in every so often in my videos, and my ride or die concealers for those is the NYX HD concealer here. That one right there. And then definitely you got to give it up to the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And these are some really good highlighters. They're not too bright on me. They're just the right enough brightness that I need to go under my eye and on my nose. I don't really do like other areas of my face because I can check myself right now. My forehead is big. I don't need to be highlighting. And my chin is a little big. I don't need to be highlighting it either. I know y'all see it. So I'm going to check myself. You feel me? But yeah, so these are definitely two good highlighters. And if you're looking for them... If you're looking to get some really good highlighters, what I mean, then definitely go to your local beauty supply store or you can definitely pick this one up at Ulta. I haven't seen the LA Girl at Ulta, but these are definitely like at your beauty supply store or you can find them online for cheaper. But yeah, I really love these concealers. Yeah. So, yeah, moving on. My ride or die bronzers. Yes. Yes. Let's get to it. It is the Black Radiance. Yes, I know you just saw my Black Radiance foundation. Like, it's like Black Radiance again. Yes, because Black Radiance is only for like a drugstore brand. And it is the Black Radiance Pressed Powder and um, Golden Almond. And I just really love how this makes my skin, you know, really bronzy. It's very beautiful. That, that is the color right there. If you want to swatch, I can go on and swatch it for you. And yeah, it's not too harsh. And I just, that's what I really love about it. That's the color right there. It's just really pretty. And I love how silky it is, like, especially for it to be a drugstore brand. So, yeah, I have to have this in my makeup kit when I get ready to go do something. Because I switched between this one, and here come my next one. The Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. That is what's on my contour today. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing a little singer. I can't. Mm -mm. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, so... That's it right there. It definitely comes with a mirror. I do like I do like that about that because like in case if I did want to use that mirror in there, I definitely could. I haven't used it yet, but yeah, I love how it does. It's not too harsh. It does like a harsh contour or anything, but it's really natural. And if you're looking for something like that, I definitely suggest it. So yeah, ride or die, ride or die. Yes. Okay. Moving on. So my ride or die. 
makeup setting spray. Now, this is my baby right here. The Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, yes, like this, my makeup stays. Like I put that on today. I've had this makeup on since like a little bit before 12 o'clock and my makeup is still together. And that's what I love about this foundation. Like this foundation is not overrated because like some things can get overrated on YouTube and it's not, it's not turning out what it's supposed to be. But this one, yes, like this is definitely living up to the hype and I just love it. I mean, no complaints about it. Um, I'm trying to smell what usually my spray on myself has to smell, but yeah, it smells pretty okay. Um, I can't really smell it right now. But yes, like I definitely suggest, like if you're looking for a good set of spray, then yes, definitely go add that into your kit so it can be your ride or die because this is definitely my ride or die. I have no complaints about it. And girl, yes, go check it out. Now, the only reason why I'm putting this in my ride or die, and I was using this before that, but it didn't really keep my makeup set. I had an incident with it and I was scared. I only use this for my eyeshadow on my lid, especially like when I was showing you those colors from Avera and all that in the um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance Pad because it like really makes it stick and set right there on my lid. But for my makeup and my, no, I would not use it for that, but it's definitely good when I want to make my eye pop. My eye pops, but my eyelids pop, you know? So yes, like you definitely have to go try this out. So do it. Yeah. Anywho, so my ride or die lip products. I have three. Three dress. Yes. I'm so extra. But anywho, my first one is, and I have I use this every day. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Gloss. Like it doesn't really dry completely matte, but it does have like a matte finish. But it's I just love it. Like, I use this every day. It's not too much. I don't know. I gravitate towards the mauve pink colors. I don't know. They just, they, they go really well with my skin. I will say that it does. And I love the one on it. It goes on real precise. Like, you can get in those nooks and corners of your lips. So, yeah, it really works well for me. L'Oreal did a really good job on um, these matte lip glosses and I have nothing negative to say about them and this baby is in my purse like all these I'm like I took it out my purse so I could show it to y'all so yes and I'm not gonna show you this one got to switch up definitely have to go try the LA cup the LA color lip glosses the high shine lip glosses like the the words are all gone off this one I can't even really tell you anything let me see if I can find a name on here Okay, it's called Fresh, but I really love the one on it, and it's just like a really natural nude gloss, and it works for me every day, and like I say, like I took this one out, I took this one out of my purse so I could show it to y'all, and these are my ride or die, I love them, they did a really good job on these, and y'all yeah, definitely suggest that you go try those out, and my next one, this is back when I made my first Gerard Cosmetic purchase, it is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and serenity and that's what i have on my lips right now like oh my goodness guys like this is so worth the hype like dry i mean like it dries matte like yeah there is no transfer no no transfer no so i, I really love it like it's like kind of loose when it comes out but when you put it on your lips like it starts to dry and that's what i love about it and, it, and I like how their, um, the tube is, it's not too big, but it's like just right. So if you're looking for like for some good liquid, um, lipsticks that you want to make your ride or die, then like definitely go check Gerard Cosmetics out. You will not be disappointed. And yeah, just let me know what you think about it if you do decide to purchase them. And let's see here. My ride or die pressed powder to set my makeup. It is the LA Colors Mineral Press Powder. And this works really well for me. Like, I know you heard in a couple of my videos. Like, I'm not going to suggest anything because that I don't really like. Because for me personally, I have sensitive skin and eczema. So, I will tell you what works for me. And if you have, like, some of those same conditions, it might work for you. But everybody's skin is different. But this definitely has worked for me. It has not broke me out. And it sets my foundation really well. 
and I use this every day. Well, not every day, but every other day when I do wear makeup. And I, I just, like I said, I have no complaints about it. So definitely um, go check this out. I found this in my local drugstore. It was like between $4.99, $5.99, not drugstore. It was um, my beauty supply store. So yeah, definitely go check this out and let me know what you think. And also, now y'all, now don't trip me. Like, I'm, I, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. So, y'all see my highlight, right? Okay. Y'all see that? Okay. I don't really have a highlighter. And y'all like, well, what you mean you don't have a highlighter, but your highlight is popping? Well, I don't have a product that I can say, like, that's on the product and it says highlighter. I have an eyeshadow, and like I stand by this to this day since I first bought it from when I was in Ulta. This is just popping, like they popping. Like let me let me explain to you. This is their three D essence eyeshadow. Okay, three D. I mean, it is like a pretty feel, but I'm gonna swatch this because I want y'all to understand. See that? Now watch this. Like, that is, like, the perfect highlight. I mean, like, really? Like, really, bro? Yeah, I just said it, but, like, do y'all see that? And this eyeshadow is, like, maybe $3.49 or maybe a little bit less. And that's the end. And, I mean, I mean, just check that out. I mean, I just love it. I mean, and it's so inexpensive. Like, I had a person come there. It's like, oh, my goodness, your highlight is beautiful. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, and I ain't paid that much for it either. You feel me? Just, yeah. And, I mean, when you can find something that's not so expensive, I mean, don't get me wrong. I just, you know, because I don't really have that many. I mean, this is all I use to do my highlight. I mean, and I love it. I mean, and let me see if I can find the, the color. It's the, um, the number 08. It's the Irresistible Vanilla Latte. And I use this all the time, nonstop. And I even, let me see. What happened here? Yep. I got another one. Just when I run out, I'm going to go straight to this one. This is brand spanking new. But I did um, finally get me a highlighter palette. And it's coming from um, L Cosmetics in a little, um, probably a couple weeks. So, but if I was stranded, as Jacqueline Hill would say, and I was on a desert island, this baby would have to be with me. Like all my other babies that I done talked about and let y'all know. This would have to be with me, and I highly suggest it. Now, I better not go to the store and see that these are out. I just cannot do that because, like, like I say, it's my ride or die. Okay, but moving on. So, everybody talks about facial primers and all this and that. Well, my ride or die facial primer, before I put my foundation on, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I know you're like, why is this girl holding up a cell besides what I, when I first bought it, I had to try it out. I wasn't going to go buy it and then. A big one, and it ain't working, so I got the little sample size, and I only use a dime size. And I've had this for, like, maybe a couple months. And I, when I say I use a dime size, like, a dime size. So, like, I don't just use this. And I go back between this and the primer water, and they both are great. And they're, like, perfect, like, hands down. Like, I would have to have this with me. I don't use too many other facial primers. Like, I was using the Wet n' Wild, um primer the cover off primer and that's a pretty good drugstore primer but like hands down like this is my primer no joke and i would suggest y'all go try this out as well now my see i got two more things so everybody's always talking about good products with the sister um brow products with yeah good brow products with the sister brows with well my best brow product to set my brows with is this anastasia clear brow gel yeah, y'all can tell I use that thing because, like, the lettering is coming off and I have to set my eyes like my brows, um, brow hairs are already set. They are not moving. And it has, like, a little silicone smell to it, but it's not that bad or whatever. And, yeah, like, when I run out of this, I'm getting some more. Like, yeah, like, I don't deal with too many of the brow products, but Anastasia, you got to roll with the queen now because she makes everything like just right so yeah this is like a definitely rider that it would have to go with me if i was on a desert island yes so my last thing is the nyc liquid eyeliner that's what my wing is doing yeah 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 
But anywho, yeah, this is like a definitely ride or die for me. Like, this would have to go with me if I was going to another island. I just love it. Um, I love the wand on it and how the product comes out. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just great. And I have no negative comments about this. So, yeah, if I was going to be stranded on another island, yes, it would have to be with me. So, yes, those are all of my ride or die products. Like, yeah, guys, like, check them out. Yeah. Mm. And, you know... That's all I have for you guys. So, yeah, I don't really have much to say because I just talked about everything. But, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also share this video with your families and friends. And I will see you in my next video. And if you want a tutorial on this look, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.